Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com so today we are going to do HDI report or human development index report one of the very important topic for RBI grade B so let's start so who brought the HDI or human development index a Pakistani economist Mahboob ul -Haq, actually developed the human development index for UNDP UNDP is United Nations development program so see students how the uh, the human development index is calculated there are three basic dimensions the first one is life expectancy the second one is mean years of schooling and the third one is gross national per capita income right so these are three important uh, three dimensions actually the geometrical mean of these three dimensions is the HDI so life expectancy so life expectancy at the birth so I'm going to explain all these three points here so life expectancy factor so the life expectancy factor helps to determine how long the average citizen will live right so the HDI measures the life expectancy from 20 to 85 years so 85 is the ideal life expectancy according to HDI the human development factor uh, human development index uh, the life expect according to life expectancy factor 85 years is the ideal age of citizen of a country so the country with the longer life expectancy they are going to receive the higher HDI score right so simply let's take an example suppose there is a country generica i'm not taking example of any particular country the life expectancy at the birth is 70 years so the life expectancy index what would be the life expectancy index the 70 that is a life expectancy in a particular country minus 20 divided by 85 minus 20 are you getting it this is the ideal one 85 is the ideal life expectancy but the country generica the life expectancy is just 70 so 0.77 is the life expectancy index so that's how the life expectancy index is measured so if in any country suppose in any country the expected life expectancy is 66 then it would be 66 minus 20 85 minus 20 that would be whatever the values are that would be the life expectancy index the next one the education index so education so basic three parameters or dimensions of HDI the first one the life expectancy so if a person is born if a baby is born what is the life expectancy first of all the quality of life right I mean suppose if the life expectancy is longer if it is let's say 80 years obviously the better healthcare facilities are available that's why people are living more right so and the second one the education index what is the mean education index to the quality education and the third one the gni index about how much the people are making how much money the people are making so before the human development index the education factor and the life expectancy factor was not considered further there were few changes were made besides these three indexes so the education index is an important other important component of HDI calculation so the index is found by dividing the number of schooling for the adult of age 25 see uh, the optimum number of years the you, you can say according to the HDI the best uh, the best or optimum number of years of schooling should be 15 so if any country for example in generica or in any country uh, the an adult is able to go to school for 10 years or let's say 12 years while he should go for 15 years the education index is going to be 0 0.8 so that's what the education index is So the school age children are expected to go to school for at least 15 years. 15 years is the standard here. Okay. 
so that is actually an important point for life expectancy 85 years is the standard in the education index 15 years of schooling is the standard so the gni standard so for the gni standard see the the gross national income per capita gni measures the annual income annual average income of the citizen based upon the purchasing power parity right i think you have already gone through the gni and gdp concept so the GNI index uses a minimum income of $100 and the maximum income of $75,000. So there is a simple formula log 50,000. I have actually mentioned here log 50,000 minus log 100 divided by log 75,000 minus log 100. So the GNI per capita for citizen for in, in this example, there is a country generica whose and per capita income the gni of a citizen is fifty thousand dollars so that's how i calculated here using the logs now calculating the g hdi the human development index so look at this so this is the simple geometrical geometric mean of the three indexes indices that we found in the previous slides the three indices of the first one is the life expectancy the second one is the education and the third one is the income index the gnp index so that's how the hdi is calculated the rank of india in 2016 i think index is 131 so students further to measure the human development more comprehensively see there are few countries like kuwait like uh, uh, Saudi Arabia in which the uh, the problem is only few people are rich only few people even in U uh, United States of America uh, there are few countries in which only few people are making a lot of money there is no equality there is inequality and there are few countries like India in which there there is gender inequality the women are not getting uh, the opportunities to work right now it is actually improving but according to the statistics that i'm going to show you the situation is still really bad so there are to to show the correct picture the hdi report they also provide besides the hdi index so these four further ind indices are given in the hdi report the first one so they started showing these indices from 2010 so the first one is inequality adjusted hdi the second one is gender development index third one is gender inequality index and the multi-dimensional poverty index so these four indices are also given besides the hdi so now i'm going to show you that so what is inequality adjusted hdi C students for instance there are country i have already told you there are countries like kuwait right like uh, uh, many saudi saudi arabian countries where only few people are rich so inequality adjusted hdi takes into account the inequality to find the value of index so ihdi measures the inequalities using the same elements measured in hdi right but they measure the inequality between the rich and the poor the similar funda is used in just a second in the gender development index so in in the inequality one the difference between rich and the poor is measured but in the gender development index the same see these are the three i'm using the data of india right this is the data of india so these are the three factors the life expectancy the mean years of schooling the gnp so this is the data for male and this is the data for female the life expectancy of male is in india is 66.9 years and for females it is 69.9 mean school uh, years of schooling is 8.2 years for male and 4.8 years for female but gnp per capita of male is 
$8,897 while for female it is just $2,184. This is an average for female. So HDI for male is 0.671 while HDI for female is 0.549. So there is a disparity, right? When the same uh, development index, the HDI is calculated separately for male and female, even in India, there is a lot of disparity. So that's what the gender development index is, right? This is the basic funda. So let's get back. So what is the global multidimensional poverty index, right? So the, the MPI, we call it MPI, is an international measure of acute poverty covering the 100 developing countries. So, so this index is actually made for the 100 developing countries which are actually facing the acute poverty. So instead of just three, these three dimensions, so they are further divided into parts, right? The health is divided into the child mortality and nutrition. The education is divided into years of schooling and the school attendance. The living standard is further divided into six parts, the cooking fuel, the toilet, the water, electricity floor, the assets. So to show the clear picture of HDI, right, in the poor countries, these dimensions, these three dimensions are actually further divided into indicators. So these are the indicators. So if you want to read uh, the the HDI report in depth, I think this is a 350 pages of the report. If you want to read that in, uh, in, in depth, the, if you want to read the statistics, I will provide the link in the course, right? So that's what the global multidimensional poverty index is. They actually divided the whole, uh, these dimensions into indicators to show the clear picture. So what is the rank of India? The rank of India is 131. The HDI of India is 0.624. While for the male it is 0.671 and for the female it is 0.549. The average is 0.624. The inequality adjusted HDI is 0.454. And the overall loss in HDI due to inequality is 27.2%. Student, that's all for today, I think. I hope you like this lecture. I hope you are able to understand this concept. See, students, uh, let me get back. Let me, you know, give you an overview again. So, again, the HDI, the Human Development Index, there are three dimensions, life expectancy, the mean years of schooling, the gross national income per capita. These are the three parts based upon which the HDI is calculated. How it is calculated, the life expectancy, the life expectant uh, the ideal life expectancy is 85 years 85 years is the base the standard and the education index it the ideal years of schooling is ideal uh, years of schooling is 15 years while we this is mean years of schooling right mean years of schooling right i have already gave you the figures for india DIN, I think you are already aware about it, the gross national income per capita. Before that, um, uh, this HDI index, uh, human development index, the GNI index was used, right? So that's an old traditional method to find the prosperity of a country. So that's how the uh, HDI is calculated. But now, uh, after I think 2010, few. Uh, there were there were few drawbacks of the HDI because of the inequalities because of the uh, gender disparity gender inequalities the rich were you know taking a lot of were taking a lot of resources while the there was a lot of poverty even in the you know countries like UAE Qatar Kuwait right the rich were getting richer and the poor were actually getting poorer right so that's why this index came into picture. I have already explained you. So student that's all for today. I hope you understood this lecture. So this is my email ID. If you are unable to understand anything, you can drop me an email, right? And I hope you already have my number, right? Sometimes I'm not able to take all the calls, but on Sundays I'm able to take all the calls. This is my personal number. This is my email ID. 
so there is discussion board and students i request all of you to write a review on the bank exams today mobile app and even if you are using the bank exams today's android application go to google play and write a review for me so that's all for today your feedback is very important for me uh, thank you and have a very nice day bye